Hello and welcome to this 20 minute full body strength HIIT workout to build muscle across our entire body with no equipment, just our own body weight. Before we get started, I just wanna give a massive shout out to you, the community, everyone here that's following my workouts and also inside my app. I love seeing your updates, I love seeing your progress. It's helping you stay accountable and it's also helping everyone in the community stay focused and motivated, so keep going and keep sharing the love, all right? Let's get started in today's workout with the warm-up starting in a torso rotation. Let's spend 30 seconds on a few different exercises to get warm and ready for the strength exercises. In this torso rotation, just relax your shoulders, open up the chest, rotation in the torso, engaging your core, bending your knees a little bit to allow that rotation. Take nice deep breaths and allow your body to just move naturally. Nice little stretch out. Let's take that into a marching on the spot, using your arms, driving the knees up, engaging the core. So in this main workout, we're gonna go for 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest on a no repeats um, set of exercises, focusing on upper body, then legs, and then core. Take it to arm circles, sweep the arms up and back, opening up the chest. Feel that nice big movement in the shoulder joints, forwards and backwards. As you lift up, squeeze the shoulder blades together, open up the chest. Come down into a climber step stretch position. So one foot up outside that hand. Lift the same arm up and rotate. Come back down, drop the elbow, stretching in the hips and rotating in the upper body. Keep breathing. And when you're ready, plant that hand down, step back and step up to the other side. You can, of course, do this with this knee on the floor if you want, or up high. Warming up the shoulders, the arms, the legs, the hips, a final few seconds before the circuit begins. Or the workout begins. In three, two, one, and rest. Anything else you need, then take it now. I'm gonna switch the timer to 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. So we're gonna start in upper body, like I said. First exercise is a plank step. From this plank position, we're gonna plant one hand down, lift up, back down, then switch the arm that you start with. Okay, I demonstrated with my knees down, which is a good option, otherwise full plank. In three, two, one, here we go, we are in two, exercise one. Plank steps, up and down, switch sides. So we are working the shoulders, triceps, core. Try to limit how much side to side movement is going on. And we also don't wanna see bums up in the sky here. If you can't do it very well, drop the knees and focus on those points. Three, two, one. We now get 20 seconds rest. We're gonna stay in these muscle group areas to build up the fatigue and lactic acid. We're gonna go into a high plank rotation or even knees down, but our hands are now on the floor as we open and rotate and switch. Let's go. Knees down option is fine, but we're building up strength and stability in the shoulders. When you rotate, try to keep your shoulder above this hand. Lengthen up. Of course, the core and the hips working as well. Full body strength.
Let's take it into our tricep dip. If you want to use a platform or a chair or a bench, like I could be using um, this for my tricep dip, then go ahead. Otherwise, on the floor, fingers facing forwards or slightly outwards, lift your bum off the ground and you can dip from here as well. All right, let's go. Whatever version you're doing, we're in. Focus the contraction, the squeeze in the triceps, the back of the arm. Pause at the top as you squeeze. Try to create some space away from your shoulders and ears. Don't hunch up the shoulders. Lengthen. 10 seconds, keep going. Two, one, good. All right, all those muscles are warm. Now that we can finally make it to the push-up, the best of body weight, upper body strength exercises. So get your hands into push-up position. You can start if you need to with knees down in your knees down push-up if you want, or if you're ready for a full push-up, let's go. Now really focusing on that chest, shoulders, Long spine, head forwards, chest forwards, elbows back. If you hit fatigue, then drop the knees, slow it down on the way down, focus on that strength. Three, two, one. Good work, well done. Hopefully the upper body is starting to feel pumped. Let's stay here and start to work the back as well. From that high plank position, stay into a renegade row. So take your legs a bit wider, keep that flat plank, bring your hands in a bit and lift one elbow up, squeeze the back. Let's go, plant that hand down. Other side, squeeze the back and down. Get that contraction in those lats as the elbow comes up. Think about lifting the weight. Keep your hips down in line with the body. 10 seconds, driving that elbow, not just up, but down, like up and back towards your bum. Two, one, and rest. Let's continue in the back for a W raise. Lay on your front, create a W shape in the arms, and we're gonna lift arms and upper body. Squeeze in the back and releasing. Get ready, in three, two, one. Let's go. Still lifting elbows up and back, just like the last exercise. Don't look up with the head, just look forwards. So the neck is an extension of the spine. Five, four. Good, let's stand up and work our way into the legs, starting with a squat. Our standard, normal squat, feet hip width apart. I'll turn the toes a little bit as we sit down. Keep a straight back, work the glutes, the thighs. Here we go, straight back, 40 seconds, squat. Make sure your feet are flat on the ground. I normally see heels coming up off the ground with poor mobility and technique. Keep your weight evenly distributed into your heels and your toes. Keep going, five, four, 
Well done, rest there. Just like we did with the upper body, we're gonna stay in the lower body and keep building it up. So, into a sumo squat, take the legs wider, out turn the toes again. As we squat down, keep the knees tracking out wide with the feet. Are you ready? Two, one. Let's go, sumo squat and up. You can come up to the top or just pulse it or even holding in this position is pretty good as well. Work in the same muscles as the squat, but you'll find a bit more work in the hamstrings and groin. Really great for increasing your mobility, flexibility through the hips. Well done, rest there. Let's take it into the lunge. Forward lunge is what we're looking for with both legs, one at a time. Stepping forwards into a lunge, stepping back, switching legs. If you can't get that back knee to touch the ground, then it can just be like a half depth to here and then pushing back. Let's go. But if you can work your way up to getting that back knee to softly touch the ground with control, that's what we're looking for. Again, front foot is flat on the ground. Ten seconds. Focus on the glutes. Good technique. Two, one. Rest there, down we come into the bridge. Final exercise for the legs. Glute bridge position. So head on the ground, arms down, walk your feet in, feet flat on the ground. And we're gonna lift hips up, engage glutes, lower back, hamstrings, and then release down. Let's go, 40 seconds. Getting those hips up, nice and high. Squeeze at the top. Keep it going. Main focus in the glutes, with of course hamstrings and lower back, helping the hip lift. Well done, rest there and turn it around into mountain climber. Last exercises here, focusing on the core deep into the abs to finish off this workout. So, mountain climber position. Holding it here and lifting one knee up into your chest. Nothing else moves. Let's go. You can walk it like this. We're of course working shoulders and arms, but the core and hips working as well. You can pick it up into running if you want a bit more cardio, a bit more movement, or slow focused squeeze. Halfway. Keep your hips in line with the body, not up too high. Well done, nice core warm up before the crunches and leg raises to finish. So lay on your back, get your feet just in a normal bent leg position. And we're gonna focus on a standard crunch. It's all we're working on, but as much contraction in those abs as you can. Let's go. Lift, squeeze, release. Shoulders touch the floor and up again. Hold at the top, release. Breathe out. Putting strength in those six pack abs. <sighs> wow. 
well done. Rest there and stay here for a leg raise or a knee raise. The legs are up, lower back fixed into the ground, core engaged as you lower the legs slowly. This is still fixed into the ground and then you lift. You can do that to make it easier, bend the legs for more control. Let's go, 40 seconds. Final exercise before a two minute finisher. There's no rush with these core exercises. Go slow and build strength. Ten seconds. Okay, well done. 20 seconds rest before a two minute finisher. Gonna revisit two of the best exercises. A squat and a push up. One for legs, one for upper body, 60 seconds each. If you need to rest at any point, then rest. Get as many reps as you can. Going for a squat, 60 seconds. Do what you can. Let's go. Two minutes to the end of the work. Here we go. Focus on technique. You don't need to rush it. Make sure every, every rep is good form. Push through those heels, grip onto the floor. Straight back, chest up. Keep it going, you've got 15 seconds. We're taking no rest before the push up. We go straight in, in four, three, two, one. 60 seconds of your push up, see what you got. Knees down, always an option. Resting, always an option. Building strength in the upper body. You got this. What have you got left? 15 seconds to the end. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Wow, nice little finisher there. Have a breather, recover, and join me for two and a half minutes of cool down for the heart rate, the muscles, the recovery, the flexibility. So, come onto your hands and knees, open up the knees. Reach your arms forwards and sit back into your child's pose so you can rest your head on the floor. You can rock side to side or just pause wherever feels good as you start to take nice deep. Slowly come up from there into a hip flexor stretch. Step one foot up and drop your weight forwards. Lengthen through the spine. Stretching here in the hip flexor. Slowing down that breathing from that tough finisher. Step back and switch leg, same on the other side. And start to think about how well you did in that workout, which exercises you struggled with, which ones were easy, and 
if you've come back and repeated this many times, then acknowledge what improvements you're making. And this is a great little measurement. Training with your own body weight, you can still acknowledge the progressions you're making. Come to a seated position into a straddle stretch. Open up your legs, keep them straight if you can. Opening up the chest here, long legs. Lengthen through the spine, you should feel a nice stretch in the hamstrings and groin. If you're super flexible, you can lean forwards through the legs. I'm gonna stay up here because I can feel a nice healthy stretch in chest, shoulders, groin, hamstrings. And final 30 seconds, when you're ready, you can cross the legs. You can stay up here if you like, or lengthen the spine and start to walk forwards. Great for the hips and lower back. So this workout is a great full body, body weight strength session that if you did regularly, even if it was a daily routine, you'd get fantastic results in building up strength in all of these areas, getting more comfortable in your body, improving your posture and so many other things. You can come out of that stretch and rest there and well done. That is that 20 minutes with me complete. And if you want more, then make sure you check out my channel for lots of more workouts like this. And like I said, you can come back and repeat this one lots of times to get the best out of it. And if you want even more training, then make sure you join my app. Not only is there workouts at home, but also in the gym and uh, dumbbells, kettlebells, resistance bands, lots of other workouts in there, nutrition guide and my one-to-one -one coaching, which I would love to help you with to answer all of the questions you have to get the best results in your health and fitness journey. So any questions, then let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.